Hello and welcome back to Transport Inc. You may notice there's a couple different things here on this video versus the last one. For one thing, we ain't in Texas anymore. Uh, we are here in uh, in Portugal now. I've got a system going and uh, just a bunch of trucks and and uh, and vans heading back and forth between Lisbon and Porto, and uh, making some uh, making some money here. I, I wasn't going to do another video actually on this game, but uh, there was actually some updates uh, that came out in the time between that last video and this one, which which made some things uh, rather nice. I might add. Let's uh, let's grab this guy here. Show off some of this stuff. And you see, I've been playing for just a little bit here, three years, I guess. And um, my 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 bus here, just a regular old boring bus, just goes back and forth. That's all he does. But there's a lot of upgrades that we can do to this guy to make him much fancier. I don't know if this was in the game before and I just completely missed it, uh, but it's here now. And for instance, we want better comfort. We can do that. 16 grand. We got a nice comfy bus. We can add capacity. We can add durability. All that stuff can be added in here. Sure, we'll do all of it. Um, now, you may wonder if, like, you got one really nice bus and one really grungy bus, but you're paying the same ticket because it's based on the line. Well, not anymore. Now it's based on the bus. So, um, this guy we're looking at here, we can actually adjust his individual prices, which which is even more micromanagey. Um, but probably necessary for, you know, for what we're doing here. Let's go ahead and bump the ticket up to, I guess, 50 now. We'll probably be able to handle it. And rather than, I think we are doing 41 before. He's waiting for some passengers. Which apparently we have used them all. Oh, people are mad now. What are they mad about? Take a look. They are mad about... It's not comfortable, they say. It was comfortable $3 ago. Okay, yeah. It's comfortable for $3 less. Understood. All right, um... So I've I've uh, I've been holding off long enough. Oh, another thing I wanted to show also. I went I bought a manager, which which is amazing. Uh, so I've got a I got a um, a depot here in Porto, and um, what it's doing is is automatically once someone hits twenty percent repair durability, they automatically get fixed up up to eighty. And we're going to go even a little bit lower than that. Set it to like twelve on. Oh well, I guess because I because I. That's default for I guess the new guys that come in, but uh, so that'll automatically happen whenever they when they get battered up, they just head to the depot, get fixed up, perfect. So uh, I'm in I'm in Portugal. I also with this map, I guess it, it links Portugal, Ireland, and Iceland all together because I don't know. I guess they're uh, they're small, and so it, uh, it it links them all together. Man, blue guy is running away with the game here. There was somebody up here in Iceland, but they I guess they died out. And uh, I should really expand some things. So let's go do that. I was looking over here in Ireland. Actually, let me look up here real quick. I kind of ignored this because there was a computer up there. Um, uh, no one really wants to go there, but from... Oh, Reykjavik wants to go there. And then they want to go... Oh, yeah, this actually might work out. Um, not really. We can just get some buses running back and forth there for that one. But I want to get some trains going. I really want to get some planes going, actually. If we could run from, I don't know, Dublin to London, if I could buy London, uh, that'd be good, some good money. Dublin doesn't want to go anywhere else, I don't think. No. No one from Reykjavik want to go anywhere? No. no nowhere that I have, anyway. Um, we'll, we'll figure that out in a bit. I want to get some airplanes going at some point. But let's just deal with, uh, with, with Ireland over here. There's people waiting. There's not a lot of people waiting. So if we want to do, like, a train system here, they all are linked. Maybe... Is it worth doing that? Yeah, I like trains. So let's go uh, there, there, and back there. Okay, now let's build a train. I want just the Tipo guy. 80, 80 passengers he holds, and there's not 80 in each of those. <laughs> so he'll go there. He'll run between all of, the, all of them. There's no depot here for him. What are they mad about? What are you mad about? Ticket price is too much? No, it's fine. Okay, we'll go down to 40 and see how that works. Um... We can upgrade him as well, add capacity, add some durability, some speed. We'll add some speed onto him, which also makes it a little more um, um, fuel, less fuel efficient. We're slowly filling up. We got 29. Is that all the people we had there? I think it is. So that's all good. People are still crying about the ticket price. This is an expensive train for, uh, for a very cheap ticket. It's still filling up, though. You're going up to Castle Bar, and you've filled it up. I think um, we'll lower that ticket price a little bit, though. A little bit more, I guess. Okay, we're going to 35. Um, I don't really care about anything else. Speed's really all we need to care about on this side. This guy's expensive. 
There we go. We got 44 in there now. Yeah, yeah, it's not too bad. It's not too bad. So we'll just make the circuit there. And I think we'll be in we'll be good uh, good shape. Let me take prices there too. Um We need to get a depot in here though. We'll set it in Dublin. And we'll put in a train depot. Rail depot. 50 grand right there. Uh and I'm not sure my manager handles that. Does he handle that? Uh no, we need a we need a train depot for that. I'm just I'll manually deal with him. There we go. So Ireland has been dealt with uh for now. All they have is people who want to get hauled around. There is a couple of, of fancy folks that want to get tra uh, moved here in the west. Um, I'm not sure it's worth it, though, so I'm going to ignore that. So we got to figure out where we're going to make the next big bucks. And I think Spain would be great. It's 500 grand to go to Spain, though. But we got to get this, this global transport union. What's he going? At 4 million. They're rich. I'm poor. But we could buy one of these. How much is this? This is 430 to get to UK. Um, there's a lot of towns in there. There's a lot of towns in there. Hmm. I think we gotta go for it. Uh, we can't get from Belfast across. So we'd have to just... All this stuff be dealt with. There's some sort of concert going in Newcastle. Um, let's... Oh, lots of fires. Lots of fires over there. Roads closed over here. Doesn't really matter where we go. We could really go anywhere. Where's where's cheap? 85 grand to go here. I can't see what you want though. So if, if you don't want to go from Amsterdam up up this way, it's not gonna be any good. Brussels is, eight, is or uh, yeah, um Netherlands is Netherlands and, and uh Belgium here are both eighty five. There's already people there. What about up this way? 150. Buy Russia. Uh, for no reason at all, because there's no cities in Russia. Why would we buy Russia? <laughs> I don't know. What's this? Oh, the train drivers are going on strike? Oh, boy. Those guys. Those guys are the worst. Um, Let's see here. There's at least 500. That's France, part of France. Uh, We got what? We got 454. Let's buy... Let's buy Belgium. We, we roll the dice on Belgium... Or the Netherlands. Belgium. Belgium it is. I'll buy it. Yes. Do you want to go? Tell me when to go. You want to go? You don't want to go back and forth. Well, this doesn't help me at all. All right. We're going to buy the Netherlands also. I wish we got some sort of hint. Uh, that works, though. And you want to carry some freight south. Uh, that'll, that'll, that'll do. That'll do. So we need Amsterdam wants some, some people going to Brussels. Deal. Let's get a road going in here. Um, do you... Maybe we can get a route that goes, like, multiple places. Uh, no, we can't. But you could go Brussels to Amsterdam. Amsterdam up to Groningen. I don't know how to say that town. Uh, and then, uh, that's it. But we could do a... Let's go like this. And there, and then there. And then let's get some buses. Buy some buses. Buy some buses. Buy some buses, not trains. And let's get, uh, we'll get a little fancier for this one. Let's take him on that route. So he should bounce back and forth over and over again. 28 people, 28 people. And away he goes. And now he's going to come back, way back down here to Brussels. No, he's not. He's going to go to Amsterdam. Okay, perfect. Um, I'm going to put another one in. And we're going to need somebody hauling uh, the fancy folks around. So we'll get... We don't have a lot of those. I should have got that guy, though. He does both. But we'll get this... this, uh, this uh, We'll get the little one. We don't have enough to, to justify the other one. So we'll do that. We'll put a depot in over here in Amsterdam. And stash in a road depot. Right there. Our manager should automatically deal with it, even though he's on the other side of the world. Well, you know. He's in Portugal. Not really the other side of the world. But you know what I mean. Um, but there's that. So that should give us some good cash coming in here. What do you want? No one wants to go there? There's an airport there. Do you want to go anywhere? I'd love to get planes going somewhere. Uh, not over there. No, no one wants to go there. Other than just a bunch of freight up this way. Which I'm not opposed to. It's a lot of freight. 160. We could get a train route back and forth between there. Is that cost effective? Probably not. But we're going to do it. And we're going to go buy a train. One of, one of, you want freight, right? We want this guy, freight man, to go there. Okay, away he goes. 
And uh, let's get a depot in uh, in Liege. Sure. I got lots of freight getting hauled back and forth. Perfect. Perfect. That's a lot of freight. We can actually probably handle two of those trains. I wonder if I can adjust the price a little more. Still going to be able to fill up at 40? What do you guys think of that? Can't click you. Ticket prices are very good, they say. Oh, well, then we'll raise them up. You like the ticket prices, we raise it the higher. What do you say now? Oh, now they don't want it. Now they don't want it. Oh, well, well. Mm -hmm. They're not happy about that. Okay, we're going to like 46, and I'm going to give you... Oh, yeah, increased capacity would be good. There goes. He's full, so let's give him more room. 80 grand on that. There's, they're on strike again, because that's what they do. You know what? Here I am. Just trying to run a business. <laughs> um, okay. That's looking all right. Um, man, look at... Uh, we did, we broke the, the, the million dollar mark. Player Inc. I didn't name myself here. But Global Transport is about to run away with it. So we, to, we should do something about that. Um, let's make some more money. How are we doing over here? There's a lot of cargo that can still get hauled back and forth. But I think... Once my big cargo van arrives, he holds 40. Um, yeah, we probably use another cargo van over here. So we'll get one of those. Um, you hold 40. Yeah, do we want to get the big guy in there? Oh, you know what? I think maybe the gun got repaired. Might have been one of my haulers. I think he, he's, he's in there getting repaired right now. So that's why the cargo was a little bit behind. Okay. So that's fine. Um, we can always look for another cheapo spot to try to buy. 450 though, we could buy the UK and then and then the world. Do we want the UK? Do we want it? Um I think I do. 500 grand for Spain, which is right there. I don't know who wants to go anywhere or if anyone wants to go anywhere. Uh, I think I want to go to the UK, though. Let's buy it. I'm going to go to the thing for a minute. There we go. We always get a loan if we need to. So, London. It's a lot of people. A lot of people want to go to Dublin. And there's an airport there. How much does it need to get planes? We need 800,000 for planes. That's a lot of thousands. All right. Well, we'll deal with the easy stuff. So, we'll go to Norwich. Nor Norwich. Up this way, just people. Let's get a. Um, we could do with this all with trains. Who's on strike again? The trains are on strike again. No, the buses. I need a manager for that. Um, you know what? Let's do all all train England, UK. I think we can handle that. There's a lot of people hanging around that want hauled around. 72, that's one That's one cargo load. Plymouth wants a lot of folks. We can do London, Norwich, Plymouth. Um, and then um, London, Plymouth would have would have a nice cargo route. Maybe. I'm, I'm not sure if it's, if it's better that way or not. I, I'm guessing it's better. But let's lay down a track. We'll just do... I guess we do that, and then over there. Is that uh, is that effective? Should we just do, let's just do a little bouncing back and forth there. We could actually get there, there, and then back. It's just there's no straight route going here. So we just do a nice quick one, and we're gonna hide. We're gonna buy. Oops. We're gonna buy a train. This guy right there, and pop him down there. Apparently it's still too much. I want to make sure you get full. Fill you up. Okay, maybe one more. If it's not completely full, not a big deal. There we go. Okay, and we're hauling. We still have a little bit left over. Going back and forth, I guess. Um, uh, well, it's perfect. Actually, probably pretty good right there. As it fills up, it's it's going to be going back. Yeah, that'll be pretty good. Um, how much are you making for me? 5,000 each trip? Okay, yeah, that's worth it. Alright, well, then let's go cargo. Um, 
That's a lot of cargo from going from London to Hull. So let's get that route in here. And does Hull need to go anywhere else with their cargo? Hull could go back to Birmingham. Let me actually, let me change that. Let me go with a route going to Hull, back to Birmingham, and then back to London. And it's going to be a cargo one on that one. Then London's going to need a train depot. I didn't build one there, did I? There we go. Train depot there to deal with that. And uh, this guy's broken down. Oh, you're my, England, my Ireland guy? Oh, yeah, sorry, buddy. There you go. I should probably get a manager. Let's get a train manager. 100 grand. Okay. Um, repair it when they hit 8%. Repair them up to 85. On everybody and everyone from now on. How much do you cost? 750 a month. Okay, okay, okay. So a lot of folks uh, mentioning in comments and on reviews on the game also about, um, like, why play this when you can play Transport Tycoon? Uh, and, you know, I mean, that's what the, I hear that argument among many games that I play. And it's, you know, it's one of the things where, like, it's it's not the same game. I mean, it's obviously the same idea. This is a much simpler, minimalist version of something like Transport Tycoon. This is something far less, um, far less to think about. You just make, you play your tracks out, and you build your trains. That's really all there is to it. I guess Transport Tycoon could be simple like that, but I mean, you can say it with any game. Um, all right, let's go and buy a train. I want a big train. I want a big cargo train. 500 grand for this guy. I think we're going to buy him. Because there's a lot of stuff up here in Iverness. Iverness. Up here in Scotland. That's what we'll call it. Uh, 1.3 million for that. Man, that's a lot of money. I want my trains, or my, my planes, but we'll do that. And get him moving. Um, they're very sad because they say, it, they say it costs too much. I guess. Is that what it is? Cost too much? All right. Let's see what they say when they get here. I may increase the capacity if I can. Good now. No, still, still too much. Probably because it's such a long route, so they're paying a lot of money to get there. It's like per hundred kilometers to get there. Yeah. How do you feel now? Will it tell me whenever it's? Is that? Is that? Will it, the smiley face go away once it... Oh yeah, it's way too cheap. We'll go to 20. See how that looks. Hey? There we go. And you're full. You're full. Okay. We'll go to like 23. And I will buy you a uh, an engine upgrade. I want you going faster. You make me 10 grand per trip. Perfect. And you're going very fast. People are going to like that. They think it's kind of slow, but it's a long, while, a long, long drive. Is it worth the ten grand to go way up there? Seventeen grand now. Apparently, I charge too much though. What's wrong with you? Waiting for passengers. Passengers. Waiting for cargo. Where'd my cargo go? There he goes. And away he goes. Okay. There's some money coming in. Now, I really want to see trains. So I'm going to just uh, sit back and make some money. Because I want to see what the trains can do. This guy going back with uh, London Hull and Birmingham is pre pretty good, I think, as well. He's making me some cash. You're supposed to be going to, be going to Birmingham also, right? Are you not listening to me? I think he's not. I think he's not listening to me. Hmm. All right. Well, you know what? I didn't want you to listen to me anyway. We already have train a track going from. I don't know. This is uh, not enough people there to go to Edinburgh. Eight hundred grand to buy a, a plane, and who knows, who knows how much to 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 buy the actual plane. Um, let's see. Plymouth, you wanted to go to... Oh, actually, Plymouth and Birmingham's a good, a good, a good one. Are we just going to train, train track that? Let's do it. Okay, we'll put another train down. I'm not spending my money yet. I was just trying to save up. That's a lot of, uh, a lot of, of cargo that wants to go back and forth. 
I'll buy the smaller ice since it's a short trip. There we go. Uh, too much? A little bit on the slow side, they say. Let's raise it up a little bit more. Uh, I'll give you some speed. Oh, it's just a wagon. Um, yeah, I'll do that. Road closed, but we don't care about that one. And I think we're just about right. Maybe 31. Seems like on like a route like this one up to Scotland here. On a route like that, every dollar we charge differently is going to be a massive difference. I would think. Let's go down to 25. Broken vehicle. Who's broken? Uh, did we get him fixed? I guess so. Okay. I'm sort of ignoring everything else over here. Um, there's no, I mean, everything seems to be working fine, though. Another broken vehicle. Uh, do you have a deep? You have a depot over here. Oh, my, is it my train? He's getting fixed. Uh, I think he got. He got there. He just. He just. He's being a slacker. Is what's going on? Uh, oh yeah, that's what's going. On. Get in there and get fixed up. Auto assign you and you guys all good, right? Everyone good? Everyone good? You're at twelve percent. Maybe that's too low. Maybe they can't handle that. I don't know. We can go ahead and get our contract for planes. So let's do that. Eight hundred grand. Oh, I lost money. Okay. Now how much is a plane? <gasps> that's a lot of money. <laughs> Four fifty for the little guy, the little Spitfire. Um, see what I did there. We're in the UK. Uh, but the other ones, hmm, what's going on? What do you want? What's wrong with you? Get fixed already. Are you having problems over here, Amsterdam? Yeah, I think so. Okay, everyone's a little bit broken down. There's an earthquake. Where? In Edinburgh? Okay. He'll get fixed up in a moment. It's holiday time. We got a concert going on. We got sporting events everywhere. Blue guy's at 17 million. I'm getting rocked by blue guy. Look at that. That's probably a good spot to start because you're sort of in the middle of everything. Ooh, there's a plane going by. Plane's going out here as well. Okay. Okay. Showing me up here. Uh, we can actually buy one of those little, those little guys. Where are we going to have him go, though? He's a little guy. You can go from London to Dublin. Is what we I think is a good a good spot. So if we wanted to get a runway air route from there to there, and buy a plane, that guy right there, pop him right there. There we go. There's no. Um, I need to put something in London here. We'll put in a, an air hangar. So, so he can be fixed if, if needed. Uh, people are complaining about the price, I guess. What's the what's that little no people thing mean? No demand. Yeah, there is. Oh, I got the wrong plane there, didn't I? Oh, no! What am I doing? I'm supposed to buy three million. Okay, we'll use him somewhere else. <laughs> Man. Um, it might not hurt to have... Well, let's see what we can do. So we could do like a like Newcastle. We should probably go from London though because we got a airport there already or a hangar. Um. Yeah, you know what? Let's help out this route. Go to there. What do you mean? Oh, you don't have an airport? Really? All right, never mind that. Anywhere down here want to uh, take your stuff? No. Um, anywhere with an airport want to take your stuff? How about you guys up here? I built an airport. I want to use it. You don't have an airport. Dublin does. They want to haul people. I don't have that much money. What about over here? Brussels has an airport. Brussels to... Uh, hmm. Hmm. Nobody likes Brussels. Amsterdam, you have an airport? Sure, you, no, you don't have an airport. How about you up here? No airport. Liege. 
airport. Okay, so we do a little bounce back and forth between those two. No, no, we can't because you don't have an airport. Well, you know what? Planes are tough. Can I build an airport? Is that possible? I don't think so. Well, this is just all a big, big problem. <laughs> Wait a minute. Swansea, you got an airport? No? You do, but you don't want to go there. Uh, this plane is going to be, um, I should probably park it somewhere. I don't know where, where to send it. Um, I'm little, until I get three million dollars, I can't really do anything with them. <laughs> uh, either you have airports. Uh, Reykjavik, Reykjavik doesn't have an airport? Well, you do. But you don't want to deliver anywhere down here. Uh, that's hilarious. Uh, it's hilarious and sad at the same time. So, can we, like, ground that plane? Um, I guess I can sell you. How much do I sell you for? 300 grand. Yeah, I'll sell you. I'll sell you, but uh, as soon as we can afford a, uh, a, a very expensive plane... Three million for the cheap guy. We'll do it. It's mostly made for like luxury folks, though. There's no luxury folks that want to go back and forth there, is there? Where are we going? Oh, there actually there is. Look at that. That would be perfect. Oh yeah, three million bucks. It'd be great. We'd be set. Earthquake where? Oh, one of those those English earthquakes. Just rocking everything. Um, do you have an airport? No. Um, all right, let's see what we can do here. Mostly just, this is all trains up this way. And... I'm opposed to that. All right, I kind of like the idea. I'm still looking for a air, for air, good airport place, but there is none. Um, let's see. So Liverpool wants to deliver some, some cargo to Norwich. What's going on? Can we broke down? You guys all good? Um, are you uh, you're in good shape? What's wrong with you, buddy? You look a little broken. Broken vehicle. He's going to repairs. Okay, he's going there now. Good. So one thing about this uh, all being that you know, we'll be pretty packed up here in the depot. We can upgrade it though, of course. This guy needs to actually. If I'm going to manage one of these, that guy. Where is he? Is it you? Yeah, you. You probably should be a little higher than eight percent. Maybe something like twenty percent. That probably should be your uh, your spot, because this is a big route, making me a lot of money, like seventeen grand, something like that. Um, yeah, probably good stuff. No tracks over there, I noticed. Liverpool either, no tracks. Making me some good money right there, going back and forth. We're up to one point seven million. Um, we could actually go. Look at all this. I'm being invaded. Let's go buy. We're gonna buy Spain. Let's buy Spain. Okay. So Salamanca, uh, we can do all these little little bits. Is what I'm hoping to do here. Um, is it a factory? Industrial. So we could go a little route from Valencia, Mercia, uh, Ameria. So just, just a little road route. All I'm going to do. Uh, I want to do this guy like that. All cargo route back and forth. So let's get some cargo vans. We might as well get the big guys. Not the planes. Big guys are 90. There's not enough there for 90. But we can get... Probably get away with this guy. Run him back and forth. I got the big semis in there. My opponent does. We'll need to get... Put it in... Valencia. We'll put our road depot. Okay, so we'll haul that stuff back and forth. How's Seville looking? Seville wants to go back and forth between uh, there and, and uh, what's that? Almeria? People, everything needs to go back between those two, so we'll do that. 
little route there. We'll throw in just uh, just a little truck again. Back to the basics. That guy. I think you you have fancy folks too. Yep. Everything seems to be on the good. Uh, you can probably go a little cheaper. You as well. Like that. Okay. It just becomes it just becomes a mess, doesn't it? We can turn this stuff off so we can just have blips. It's only my blips, though. There we go. Control does it. Oh, what are you? You have an airport. Hmm. Palma. Uh, looks like oh, Barcelona. Barcelona to Palma. That's what they're doing. I want to do it too. I want. Do I want my plane to do that? I should just follow you around because you you guys have got it figured out. Uh, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna put a. Um, no, 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 can't do that. I want my, my aer airports to go Barcelona, Palma. And vice versa. Uh, we want Barcelona to be my, my main hub here. We're going to compete with, with Blue Guy here, which is not a good idea, because you have 30 million. But we're going to buy a... Pl huh? Oh, I didn't want to lose. I didn't, <laughs> I didn't know I could lose. Is it 30 million? That Wait. Oh, because he transported much, enough stuff. Is that what it was? Yeah. Well, well, but, 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 who was I? I was green. Player Inc. is what they call me. Wheels on the bus is uh, the ones that started in Iceland who did a terrible job. Um, net worth, that's a lot of money. We're down a little bit. Total income, expenses, very tiny graph, net income. Blue guy was broke, but he dominated. All right. Who was it? Global Transport Union, yeah. Blue, it should be uh, like a blue background. Delivered that. You got a net worth of 30 million. Was that what, what um, only 21 vehicles. Is that what our, our end goal was for this? Oh, 60 million goods. Yeah, that's that's what that was. You can raise it up, which I think would probably be more. We actually turn it off also, just to feed your opponents until they all go away. Anyway, uh, there's Transport Inc., uh, if you want to see more of it, I, I can. Uh, yeah, we can always go anywhere else and and play more of it, I guess. But anyway, thanks for watching, and uh, we'll end on this nice black screen. I'll see you next time.